We know when the next update is going to hit. We got new items at Reda, some of which are really exciting. Another upcoming pack has leaked and there's more to go over. So if you enjoy the Valhalla content here on the channel, then totally leave a like to show your support. And let's go. Congrats to Mamoon for winning my previous Helix Credit Pack giveaway. I've sent you an email and already started a brand new one for 2300 Helix Credits. Which you can of course enter via the link in the pinned comment. And as always, these giveaways are only for subscribers of the channel, so good luck. A medium to big update was added to the PlayStation game files, as PlayStation game size on Twitter always notes, which then always means that it releases the week after that on Tuesday. So expect the same to happen here. Which then also means that we're likely getting that one-handed sword we discussed in my previous video next week too. So that is not one of the Siege of Paris weapons we already saw in the trailer and it got leaked. But it's likely going to be another one-handed sword. So yeah, it's going to be a big week next week. Likely with the new festival Sigurd Blot as well. So exciting stuff. We'll of course be covering everything here. So stay tuned for all the info. Now on to Red Eye, you can only get a really cool gothic cloak first time it's showing up at Reda, which also means that now all the gothic items have appeared at Reda at least once so if you are collecting them you can now look like sauron which is pretty cool either way i think the cloak even like standalone is really really nice and having two of the items from the gothic set already gives you health back after a kill which is really good so, I totally think it's worth the 120 opal. The weekly items include the modern day shields for on our ship with the Abstergo logo. Maybe you dig that for 35 opal. Also 35 opal is the maiden settlement statue you can now get at Reda. It's not bad actually. And also from the Isu Knight pack is that new bird skin. Which we now see for the first time at Reda for 150 opal. I think that's too much for this bird skin but... It's of course up to you. And also the Nivelheim Elk Mount is back at Reda for 150 Opal. I would save the Opal myself now that we know that there are cooler mounts in the game. Like the Lion Mount. Maybe that appears at some point. In terms of weapons we got the Heavy Shield from the Mystical set. Which has poison build up after a block. But only for 5 seconds. So really in that time that you're waiting for the enemy to hit you. You can also be offensive and build up poison that way. I don't really like the look either, so I'm personally not a real big fan of this item. I do love the look of the Surter Sword, like I've been waiting for this weapon at Reda for a really long time. It also has the smoke coming from the blade, like it's the first time that we see it, so that's really really cool. But yeah, it's not really good in terms of stats or anything, like on paper it's awesome. Put fire on the blade with the fire strike ability and get an instant 30 attack increase. But as demonstrated many times before you will not really notice it. For example here I do 27 and 28 damage without the perk active. Then I put the fire on the blade, hit the same enemy again and I do 30 and 30 instead. So again you only really want to rock this for the luck. The caps for the attack damage are by the way also still in place. So here without any attack buffs I got 151 damage. And then after like with the Einar Yar set going crazy getting that perk. Putting the fire on the blade, which again gives me 30 attack. I still cannot go above the 201 damage. So the max amount of damage you can stack, excluding minor runes, is 50. I personally think it's still worth it though for the luck. You can of course transmog it over another two-handed sword as well. And you're likely aware, right? But if you aren't, you can get Opal to buy these items from the contracts at Reda. Or by doing the Ubisoft Connect challenges. And you can, by the way, already claim the community challenge for 10 Opal if you just killed one person which of course easy enough for two solo challenges we have to kill 50 people with bearded axes and also 50 with a hunter bow so that's of course easy at the snake spot which over here on the map play on easy save before you kill these snakes and then reload the save and you got the 100 kills in no time and for the other challenges we need to win one dice game and recruit one yums viking so really easy to get the full 30 opal from these challenges. And even if you're not planning to buy anything this week, you can already save up for the Charlemagne crown, which will be cool to get at Reda. I expect this new pack, by the way, next week, as I said in my previous video with the new update. It's sadly a Fane reskin apart from the crown. And now we have Diamond Eye in the comments saying that the sword from this set 
seems to be a reskin of the double hander sword you can of course buy at a merchant and well if we look at the design and next to the icon of the new blade that got leaked you indeed kind of see it so this set is going to be pretty sad overall Fingers crossed that we get that bear mount at least at Reda. And the pack that we get after this has already leaked as well in terms of gear items. Thanks to Andy Reloads as always, a link to his channel will be in the video description. This is going to be the Jormungandr set. So yes, based on the world serpent. And we indeed see some snake inspiration in the pack. This in fact seems to be a new set instead of a reskin. I really dig the snake as the necklace and on the helm of course. Pretty sweet and it also comes with another new two-handed sword which does look pretty awesome. But yeah, can we take a step back here because what is up with two-handed swords in these item packs Ubisoft? We now have four item packs with a two-handed sword and a shield and three of them launched recently back to back and now the next two packs we get also come with a two-handed sword and a shield maybe they got stats that everyone is only using a two-handed sword or something so that's why they're only adding them with helix packs and by the way dennis you got a good theory for this jormungandr set sword right yeah I, I think it's a pretty good theory so we already have this nameless sword which has dragons and it breeds fire right mm -hmm. well, i think it would only make sense then for a sword with a snake coiled around the blade to spit some kind of poison so i think what we're likely going to be seeing for that jormungandr sword is the same kind of uh perk but with a poison effect instead of fire yeah uh, i think that's <laughs> I, I think you're you're onto something there we will find out soon enough thanks Dennis. we'll see soon enough but yeah still crazy that almost all the packs have a two-handed sword and a shield while we can dual wield any weapon we don't need as many shields as we're getting now or two-handed swords as well either way we are like in the quietness before the storm because the next update is going to be big and siege of paris is coming pretty soon too so subscribe to stay up to date on everything a like on the video would really help me out i'll of course be covering everything here on the channel and don't check out my previous video on a siege of paris surprise i did not expect a brand new weapon type you can watch that video by clicking on the screen or i will link to it at the end of our photo mode showcase you can of course send in your shots to the follower the hashtag on twitter or by going to the dedicated pictures channel on my discord and again join the discord via the link in the pinned comments be sure you accept the rules and then you are able to post. Hey Joyce, I want to say I'm sorry because uh, that one in the sword from the Future Paris DLC, it's uh, Zoyos. Oh! It's not Joyce, Joyce, yeah. Oh, oh well, it was, it, you know, it, was, it wasn't, wasn't meant to be. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we'll still be cool to use it. Hey, either way, let's talk about the pictures. You, of course, selected three from everyone, so let's get into it. Yes, what's up, everyone? First up is Krauser over on Discord, where Eivor is dual-wielding the axe from the Tyrannus pack and fired it up with their ability. I absolutely love this action post here and the outfit Eivor is wearing. Fire and electricity should make for an excellent combo in fights. Yeah, for sure. And what is happening with like the, the skin color of Eivor? Like kind of bleak. Isn't he wearing a mask? Oh, it might be the mask. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, it might be the mask from the Wrath of the Druids. That mm -hmm. the, the, yeah, the, sure. the white one. Up next is Botello over on Twitter where Eivor is hugging a dog in the settlement while then the lion... Uh, the pad fox you can get from a mystery quest. So we we talked about that one before, where you can find that one. Is looking at this touching moment, or maybe even guarding over them. I mean, will we ever get to pet Dandelion? I wonder. Yeah, he's kind of like, why aren't you pet me? Well, <laughs> why do you give all the love to this dog and not me? It's it's, it's turning into a meme. <laughs> And finally, we've got Smartyag, and I hope I pronounced this right, over on Discord, who took this awesome action shot of Eivor wearing the Knight of the Round Table armor set. They are all fired up while fighting the enemy, dual-wielding shields. <laughs> you don't see that every day. Must be the effect of a parry, mm -hmm. right? Like the lighting coming up from the armor. I mean, I don't parry a lot myself, so I don't know that a lot, but maybe you know. <laughs> you should, you should. It's very powerful. But yeah, this is indeed a parry, and... Uh... That's the Plank and Buckler shield. I had to look that up because that's one of the early shields you can get if you like do 10 of the contracts from Reda. Of course, subscribe for more Valhalla content. Also check out our previous video on a surprise Ubisoft has with the Siege of Paris DLC. For now, we'll speak to you next time and goodbye. Bye.